Let's review my empty bottles before I throw them out. A little combination of makeup and skincare. We'll start off with makeup. So starting off is the Veal Soft Spray. This is the Soft Focus Setting Spray by Hourglass. And it sprays so, so beautifully. It's like a mist. Not one of my favorite setting sprays. So for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase it. I think for me, my favorite so far has been Urban Decay. I just haven't been able to find anything that locks in my makeup the way that Urban Decay does. So for that, I would have to say, I would not repurchase this one. Next one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This one, I think I've repurchased maybe twice. I haven't repurchased it in a while because I was looking for cleaner alternatives, but she's beautiful. Like she is skin-like, she is gorgeous. And I think this little cap, I bought it from Amazon because I don't think it comes with this cap. I think I just put the cap so that it was easier to apply, but she's so beautiful and she made me feel the most confident I felt in my entire life. This, if you're looking for a foundation, I would have to say she's a winner. This one up is the NARS Concealer. NARS Concealer, what can I say? She's a queen. If you're looking for something that's going to cover everything, that's almost like a foundation, like that's just strong, comes in and just erases things, a magic eraser, then I would say this concealer is it. She's a baddie. Combining these two, I'll tell you, I have never felt the most beautiful in my life. Next up is a highlighter. It's the Rare Beauty Highlighter. This one's in the color Transcend, and this one is so beautiful, and it gives you the most highest shine but it expired and it was time for me to just toss all these products a lot of these products is not that i don't love them it's just that they have just expired and i'm looking for cleaner alternatives you're like it gives you the most perfect perfect glow oh, i'm just not using highlighter anymore like that i'm just going for a more natural approach but this one up is the telescopic lift mascara this one is so beautiful this one gives you the most natural perfect lifted eyelashes it separates them but you can tell by the brush because like the brush right now will tell you like the type of lift that it'll give your eyelashes i think that the telescopic lift l'oreal mascara 100% worth it. This one is the Sugar Lip Treatment Fresh is the company and it has like a really pretty colors like they've got different type of colors. For me it was almost like a balm and I think that it was too overpriced so will I say it's a horrible product? No it's not but would I repurchase it? No and I purchased it because I would think it was like a Christmas sale or some type of sale that Ulta was having so I'm like well this is the perfect time to try it out. But for me, it was kind of like a normal bomb. It didn't really do like what I was trying to get for the money. So for that reason, I would have to say for me, it was a pass. Next one up is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It is so, so beautiful. It is so light. It is just divine. But I did switch it up because I wanted something that was cleaner ingredients. So I would not repurchase this one. I will be purchasing the Hourglass because I feel like it's so beautiful, so light, and it's clean ingredients. Next one up is the ColourPop palette. This one is so old. I actually bought this one February of 2022. I like to put the dates because that way I know, okay, it's time to toss it. So I don't really wear a lot of eye makeup because this one's not really used. And this is the only one that I had and I used it every time I wore eye makeup. ColourPop is so so pigmented and so rich and for the price you can't go wrong with their palettes so this one 100 percent yes i would recommend because it is for the price it's just amazing this is the last one for the makeup products and it's my favorite one but it leaves the most beautiful i'm talking like the most divine look on your lip i love that it goes on as a gloss and it leaves a tint at the end i'd 100 recommend it it's so beautiful and it is It'll be your new favorite, I promise you. Moving on to skincare, I'll start off with the Snail Mucin Power Essence Snail 96. This one, as you can tell, I almost used all of it, but then it expired. So I'm like, okay, I'd rather not, not gonna use it anymore. This one, would I say it's worth it? I think it's a great base and I think that it really hydrated my skin. I think it did really good stuff for me. For me, I would not be repurchasing it, seeing it because it was not clean ingredients. And then I slowly started just kind of wanting to gear more to clean ingredient products. So for that reason, I would not repurchase it, but I would still recommend it to others. Kind of the same thing that I'll say about the Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This one did so many good stuff for my skin. I think that it really exfoliated, really kept things in check. But same thing, it's not clean ingredients. And I feel like there's other products that I'm using now that can kind of deliver the same results, if not stronger, that are more on the cleaner ingredient.
list. So same thing, I would still recommend it to others, but I personally probably would not repurchase it. This one is the Omega Milk Fermented Barrier Facial Oil. As you can tell, it's already all gone. I used every little drop that I could out of it. This one, yes, 100%, I would recommend. I actually have another one in stock that I'm gonna be using as soon as I throw this one out. This one gives you the best glow ever in its clean ingredients. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful product. This one would go on before your moisturizer and it would just instantly give you that glow. This is neither skincare or makeup. This one's actually like a little perfume. Uh, what I wanted to mention, this one's the Vanilla Musk Spray, but I would say this one I would not be repurchasing because the same company has an oil. It's a little tiny bottle that will last a long time. And that little oil, like sometimes I didn't repurchase it because sometimes it would give me a headache because it was so strong. But it's like a love and hate because it was very strong, but it smelled so good. So it's like, what do I do? What do I do? So I kind of want to repurchase it because I don't know, maybe I'm saying, what if I was pregnant and my, my senses were just a little too sensitive? Like, let me give it another try. So for that reason, I would say, if you're thinking about getting vanilla musk, I would say skip the spray, go straight to the oil. It doesn't smell like perfume, you just smell like vanilla. Like vanilla. I missed one skincare product. This one's the Retinol 0.1 Super Vitamin E Pathenol. This one right here. And I would say this one is so worth it. I have very sensitive skin and this Retinol product right here did not irritate my skin at all. I did use it, I think like three to four times a week, not every single day, but it was so gentle on my skin. So for anybody wanting to start retinol, this, the COSRX retinol is definitely a great choice.